Hey guys, it's Happy Dude. So, somebody asked me to make a video of a tour of the car, of everything that has changed. So, here's a quick video. Let's start with the interior first. I have uh, coded the whole car, all of the modules, such as the welcome lights, the, the mirrors, the windows, the windshield wipers, the dashboard, basically everything that's electronic and also the iDrive. So when I start the car or put it in reverse, there are no disclaimers anymore and I can watch videos while I drive. Uh, I've also installed some blue lights in the in the door handles and also under the dashboard as you can see here and here here you can see the blue LED lights at night the blinking that you see that's only on camera that's not in real life And then the most important thing I coded is when I start the car or put the ignition on, the start stop function is by default off. I recommend doing this with every BMW since it's not too healthy for the engine, the turbos and such, mainly for uh, the chain of the engine, especially for the N47 engines, they are known for that. Okay, let's go to the outside. I've also coded the alarm. When I close the car, you will hear a beep. And then the biggest change will be that I've lowered the car on iBox springs so now finally the car is at the right height in the rear and in the front because original the front is much higher than the rear this is how the car was before and here next to each other left is before right is after with the Eibach springs so now it's much more equal as you can see now the I will change the wheels so the tire and the offset will be more to the outside with the newer wheels I've also changed these into carbon fiber also a carbon fiber spoiler and a black M2 badge also carbon fiber diffuser I'm also going to change the exhaust so I have some uh, bigger exhaust tips because now the, the diffuser is a bit more bigger and aggressive now the steel pipes seem a lot smaller so I'm going to change that too and now for the engine I didn't change anything yet 
so everything is stuck and I don't think I'm going to tune the car for more horsepower I think it's more than enough the car itself uh, can put the power down on these new tires I have also installed now I finally have the best tire for this car the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S these are in back order so these are still the Continentals now you can see the difference why the Michelins are so good you see if I press the flank of the tire there's not nothing you can press in meanwhile with the Michelin you can see you, I don't know if you can see it but I can press it in so that's why these are more quiet uh, you also have more comfort and more grip because if the tire is softer you have more contact with the road and also a much smoother ride so that's a big upgrade for a car the tires but as I was saying it can only just manage the power onto the ground because it's a very short wheelbase so I don't think I'm going to give it more power 370 horsepower is more than enough maybe another air filter inside this one I'm not going to install a hot air intake as I call it with a tube to here then you can suck all the hot air around the engine inside the engine I'm not going to do that just replace the original filter in here for some more sporty sound and maybe a, a downpipe for a bit more exhaust noise and it's also better for the turbo okay and I would love to see some more carbon fiber in the engine bay like uh, the intake the airbox and maybe the engine cover so that's everything for the update thanks for watching guys bye